Running a marathon is a challenge mm, under mm. the best of circumstances, which is probably why less than 1% of the people in this country have done it. Yeah, a West Michigan man will take that statistic to a whole new level when he runs the New York City Marathon on Sunday. Our Brittany Flowers spoke with him about how he plans to raise awareness while he runs. Good morning, Britt. What is he doing here? Good morning. Distance running is fairly new to Derek Vanderjack, but he's already doing something he says no marathon runner has ever done before. For the past two and a half years, Derek Vanderjack has been pushing his limits. I actually started my whole training with something called rucking. Rucking is walking slash jogging with weight on your back. 65 pounds later, Vanderjack set a new goal. I'm training for the New York City Marathon. He will soon be among nearly 50,000 runners, but will likely gain more attention than almost anyone else. I'm going to be the first human to run the New York City Marathon with my hands tied. By now, you're probably asking the question Vanderjack has been hearing for six months. Why? I'm doing that to represent the charity that I'm working for, Restore NYC. Restore NYC is a nonprofit that helps in the fight against human trafficking. I'm also doing this with my hands tied to represent the overcoming of limitations what, that we have on ourselves. But the biggest reason. The deeper sentimental to me is honoring my father. Vanderjack lost his father in 2021 to another form of human mistreatment. He realized raising awareness might not only help him heal, but potentially prevent others from becoming victims. That really hits home for me. He's always been that rock for me, and he's always pushed me to be the best person that I can be and reach my fullest potential. His hope is to raise $3,500 for Restore NYC, but more than that, he wants to educate people about a complex issue. The biggest thing as an individual, you can just be aware of every situation. If you see something, um, it's better to be safe than it is to be sorry. Vanderjack has been working with uh, trainers at Transform Fitness to make sure he's staying safe as he prepares for this run. He's also been in touch with race leaders about safety. His hands will be tied in front of him. That's so he can grab water and catch himself if he were to fall. The rope will also be easy enough for medics to cut through in case of an emergency. If you want to support his mission, you can find a link to do so at woodtv.com. Donovan and Teresa.